so guys welcome and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll guide you step by step on how i designed a professional business flyer for a customer on my phone using pixelab application pixelab is a great tool to use to create an awesome amazing and professional flyer all right so if you're really interested in learning this then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel that is if you're new here all right so once we open the application this is the first thing we're going to see and then to get started what we're going to do is to just delete this text here all right then after we've done that we're going to change the background so i click here then i click on color then i click color then i go to white all right then after we've done that we're going to change the image size so we'll go to image size and we're just going to reduce the width to 1000 all right then i click ok all right so once we've done that the next thing we're going to do is to create a shape you come over here and click on shapes then i'm going to increase it a little okay then i'm going to use a gradient so i click on gradient then i'm just going to use this one here you can decide to use whatever color or whatever color mixture okay then i click okay so once i've done that i'm going to go to max i'm going to use this tool called max all right then i'm just going to take this here and then take this up a little okay then you just want to just do it step by step and get what you want so once i click enabled i click on out Okay, then once we've done that, we're just going to click on OK. Alright, so after we've done that, we're just going to increase this and bring it down here. Okay, once I've done that, I'm going to create another copy of it. Alright, this one here, I'm going to turn it upside down, like this. Alright, then I'm going to increase the size. So I can have something like this. Alright, let's push this up a little. Okay, so once we have gotten what we want, then we're just going to come over here and lock the two. Okay, so it doesn't shake as we are working. Okay, so after we've done that, then the next thing we're going to do is to go to draw. We click on draw. Then I'm just going to increase the smoothness to 100. All right, then I click on fill inside. Alright, so we just need to just draw like this. Okay, so once you've done that, just click OK. Then we're going to change color. We're going to use the same gradient we used earlier. So I just click, I'll click on gradient and I'm going to use this one here. All right, I'm going to increase it a little and bring it just down here. Then I'm going to go to shadow. I click on shadow and I click enabled. Okay, then I'm just going to increase the blur radius to 25. Then let's take offset X to about. Okay, let's leave it at 30. Then the offset Y. Let's just leave it at 15. Okay, so then after I've done that, 
what I'm going to do now is to use uh, a, co a, a color for the background so instead of using just black we're going to use one of the like we're going to just click on this plus icon then I click on this color picker okay then I'm just going to pick a color out of this gradient so you just use, use this light part all right then I click OK okay so yeah then I click OK then after we've done that we create another copy okay then we're going to take this to the back and I just bring it over here All right, so once we have done that, then we're going to create a shape. We increase the radius to 100. Then I'm just going to put it over here. Yeah, right there. You can increase the size a little. Then once we have done that, we're going to create another shape. Just increase it. But this time around, we're going to be using the gradient. Alright, then increase the little also and just bring it right here. Alright, so after I've done that, I create a copy of it and I'm just going to change this one here to white because that's where I'm going to add our image all right then just reduce the size and just put it right here okay so after we have done that then the next thing we're going to do is create a text all right so i just create a text right here and i come over here so about us change the capital letters then i'm going to change the font Alright, then I'm going to use the same gradients for the font. So I just reduce this a little and bring it here. Alright, then I make a copy of it. Then I'm just going to click on this and change it to
our services. Right, then we change it to capsulators. Okay, so once I've done that, I create another text, then I'll double click and then I'm just going to delete this and paste this, okay. So I click OK. All right, so after we have done that, we are just going to now import Okay, so after we've done that, now we're going to import a social media icon. Alright, then I'm just going to use this part. Then I go to erase color and I use this color picker to select black. Alright, then I'm just going to increase the tolerance to about. 16 and 1. Then I'm just going to reduce this size a bit to all right. Then we're just going to create a text. And then we're just going to change the color to white. And we're going to reduce the size. Alright, so we create a copy of it.
okay so once we have done this now i'm just going to add the image so we click on this circle this plain white circle we have there then i'm just going to add texture i click on the image icon and i'm just going to search for the image this is this one here right then i click ok so what we want to do now is just go to color and disable it okay then we go back then we go to texture we go back to texture and select enabled and we just increase the scale to 115 degree so 115 percent so once we have done that the next we're going to do now is to import our logo now this logo we are using i have a tutorial on how i designed it on my youtube channel i'll put the link to the video in the description section of this video so for those who are interested in learning how to design it so i'm just going to paste it here And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. This is basically the, the flyer. I hope the video was helpful. If the video was helpful, make sure to give it a like. That is, if you have not liked the video yet, please like this video. Come on, just to support me. And also, make sure to share the video with someone who you feel may find the video helpful. And if you are new here and you have not subscribed, please subscribe right now so you can see more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.